everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 12 inch canvas. I'm going to do a Dutch pour and I'm going to blow it from the center out. I have my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White base coat down and let's go over my other colors. First one is Blick Light Blue Violet. And the rest of them are Amsterdam. The first one I have is the Greenish Blue. The next color I have is Permanent Blue Violet. Very pretty color. And the last color I have is Permanent Red Violet Light. Okay, all my paints today were mixed with two parts Floetrol, one part paint, squirt of GAC 800, and a teaspoon of the uh, Liquitex Gloss Medium. Now for you uh, new artists out there just starting out, the reason I use the GAC, and I want to explain it, the GAC 800 is for prevention of crazing and cracking. So when you have thicker paints or more layers of paints on your canvas, it just kind of ensures that you're not going to get that cracking. I don't have thick paints today because we are doing the uh, Dutch pour. And let me show you the consistency. Very thin, matter of fact. I added a lot of water after I added the other ingredients. No silicone today. So I think what I'll do is just uh, get started layering my paints down. And as you can see, I'm using my turntable. Not that I'm going to be uh, spinning the painting at all. I'm, I just want it for easier access when I use my blow dryer to, to blow it out. So I think that I'm going to put a little bit extra white here in the middle. And I've only done one other of these Dutch pours blowing from the center out. And I don't think that I recorded it. And um, it did turn out really well. Matter of fact, it, it's a painting that I have hanging in my home right now. I did it quite a while ago when, when I first started out um, painting. If I have negative space today, that's fine. And if not, that's fine. This is all experimental to me. So we're learning together. This really is a, a really pretty violet color. And I think I am going to just add a little bit here in the, in the middle. And then repeat some of my colors again. I'm gonna put some pink around in here. And some of the, the lighter violet here. Some of this greenish blue. And then the dark violet. And I think I am going to put some more pink in here too. Okay. Going to take that off. And I think I am going to put some extra white paint around just to blow up on this before I start blowing the colors out. Yeah. 
And I think first we'll do a torch. Okay. And I'm going to have my blow dryer on low and cool to start. And blow out some of that paint over the top. Blower, and I did buy an attachment from I think it's Tracy Reed Designs so if you get a chance check out her channel I did get this off of her Etsy shop it's just a little attachment for the leaf blower If I can just spread this pink out just a little more here and some of the other colors. I do like wispies if I can get them. Okay, I'm just going to take a look at it here. And I'm really very happy with this painting. I think it turned out wonderful. And I'm going to give it another torch. And 
I think composition wise, it would go this way. And let me bring you down for a close up. Okay, here we are for our close up and this is the upper left hand corner. Did get a lot of cells there, that's from that Floetrol. Just going down the left hand side here. A little bit of negative space. And I will take you up the middle now. It's pretty in here, very pretty. And in here. And I'll take you over to the upper right. Again, a little bit of negative space there. Colors went so well together. Really pretty in there. Some of the darker purple came through. That darker violet. And here's the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up. Make sure you share it. Ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time I do post a new video. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.